Lately, you may have been hearing about endocrine disruptors in the news. They're chemicals that can mimic your natural hormones. Sometimes that's good, and sometimes that's not. I recently learned three fascinating and weird facts about endocrine disruptors, and I wanted to share them with you. Number one, they miss with more than just your lady bits, or if you're a dude, your junk. Endocrine disruptors affect your endocrine system. These are organs like hypothalamus, thyroid, pancreas, adrenal, parathyroid, pineal, pineal, and pituitary glands. This means in addition to impacting your body's reproductive and sexual response, they can also muck up things like growth, sleep, and the response to stress. Number two, endocrine disruptors aren't just limited to man-made ingredients. They even include some of the most natural ingredients like flax, alfalfa, hops, and soy. Did your inner hippie just reach out to protect your tofu right now? Aw. What's interesting is that the average American consumes up to three milligrams of the endocrine disruptor isoflavin every day, mostly through soy. This is a lot more than our exposure to the synthetic disruptors in personal care products, such as parabens. If we're going to worry about endocrine disruptors and cosmetics, shouldn't we also worry about the possibility that the hops and beer is gonna give us moves? Number three, if you're a female, there's a chance you've voluntarily been exposed to endocrine disruptors already. The contraceptive pill. An endocrine disruptor is seven times more potent than anything you'll find in a cosmetic. Fun fact, when it comes to contraceptives, Mother Nature might have done it first. In the 1940s, lady sheep munching on clover-rich fields got more than a full stomach. They got a high infertility rate. This may have even sparked the whole conversation about these chemicals in the first place. When it comes to endocrine disruptors, I'm still learning a lot, but I think it's important to think through the facts and look at both sides of the debate. Stay tuned because I'm definitely gonna do some follow-up videos on this.